Hey everyone, to the Collect Jurassic, back with another Jurassic World toy unboxing. We're talking about Mattel toys today, but something a little different. These are bike clubs, new for 2023, uh, an all new assortment from Mattel. You can see it there in the box called Bike Club, sort of a play on Fight Club. Um, I, you know, I think the theme here is really just dinosaurs versus something. Uh, we have uh, humans in some of these boxes. We have uh, poop in some of these boxes. Here's another one with a human. So um, there's three all together in this first series. There's Triceratops, Velociraptor Blue, and T-Rex. You can see here on the left, it says uh, series one. And then, um, yeah, I mean, they all actually all, ha all have that cool little portrait on the back, which I love that all together, seeing all those little cutesy portraits of these uh, of these figures in here. And the figures themselves, as you'll see in a second, when I get them out of the box, uh, have a lot of style, a lot of interesting, sort of chubby, chunky proportions. I think that's sort of, um, you know, the next evolution of stylized figures with Mattel. We've had Snap Squad, we've had Wild Pop-Ups, Uncage, that kind of stuff. So this is sort of a new experience experiment uh and in sort of the same um i guess um you know the same vibe as those other assortments right so yeah these three look really great um and i think what's going to be cool is some of these are based on jurassic park which of course is uh you know always appealing to me we also have blue here from jurassic world so something here for everybody so let's go ahead and start in and jump right into these unboxings course we'll be checking out the packaging checking out the figures and doing some comparisons too but packaging wise i already showed you sort of this front little acetate window box they all have as well as that little portraiture on the side also have the nice big bike club logo on there with the little bites taken out of it um, and then elsewhere on the package you sort of have this like half tone printing effect sort of like faded eroded you have like palms on the on the tops and stuff. This is just uh, the label for the figure on the bottom, nothing but legalese. Then in the back here, you can see um, some pictures of the figure, more legalese, and then um, the, the, everything else in this assortment, which I all have in front of me here. So um, pretty, pretty standard packaging. I will say that the window packaging does make this um, you know, I, kind of display friendly. I, if I wasn't someone who opened everything, I would consider keeping these in the box because they actually look pretty nice in the box. Well, that's a lot of light and all that stuff. However, I would say the boxes are a little, um, they're not cheap necessarily, but they're also not quite as like, I don't know. Um, they're, they're gonna show a little damage just by being shipped to you. You can see mine has some crushed corners, a couple pieces coming off. Um, I think they're, they're not, you know, built to kind of, I don't know, uh, be durable for some shelfware, even some light shelfware. So that kind of is at odds with the display, but lucky for us, we're gonna be opening it up anyway. In fact, I'm gonna open up this side I've never opened one of these up before, so we're going to see how, how involved it gets uh, on taping everything to get to the toy inside. But hopefully it's not too bad. Um, these things shouldn't be too uh, tight in here, I wouldn't think, being as they are $10 figures, so pretty affordable. Um, I did get these ones off Amazon, which I can go ahead and put a link in the caption if you're interested in buying them yourself after you see this review. Um, but yeah, they're pretty cheap, so shouldn't be a whole lot of security holding these things in. And then we also have the poop here. So I like this little uh, interesting background they have here, the different tones of yellow, orange, and red. Again, with that halftone effect, a couple Tranodons flying around back there. So um, kind of neat packaging. But yeah, here's our first figure. We have the uh, Bike Club Triceratops here. You can see that this guy is chonky. He's very rotund, um, you know, very round. Look at that. Look at that dump truck on this guy. So definitely a little chubby guy um, by design. Um, he's got his little angry eyes here too. I like how one eye is looking behind him and one eye is looking forward. He's kind of looking over to the side. Um, that's pretty cute. And then paint detail wise, I got to say, this thing does have some nice detail on it. You have the darker spots here painted on the back that are actually molded plastic. Then he's got all his little frill horns painted. His little crest has got some nice lighter brown in it. Of course, the eyes and the horns and the beak. I mean, this is more paint than we can say for some mainline Mattel figures you see back there. Um, they even have the little claws painted too. So there's actually quite a decent amount of paint on this guy, um, which I'm surprised to see. Again, it's a $10 figure. So I guess it's sort of a given, but I was expecting something a little cheaper. Um, 
weight wise, I would say this thing is, um, I mean, it's not solid plastic. I don't, I wouldn't say it's hollow either, but, um, it definitely, uh, isn't super heavy, nor is it super light, it's sort of somewhere between almost like a nice, I would say like a, one of those tubs, rubber ducks sort of in there, like a really nice, uh, rubber duck, but not hollow or squeaky or anything like that or squishy, still hard plastic. I did notice there's no, that I can see no discernible Jurassic logo on here. You think they'd have put it on one of his feet or something just to keep it branded Jurassic. Oh, you know what? It's on this. You can see here there's a little Jurassic logo on there. And then, this is the Triceratops turd, right? I guess we should obsess over this a little bit. It's got the nice swirly poop in there. It has this like skidded up sand so that when he's uh, done pooping, he can kind of kick the sand onto his poop, sort of like a cat, which is pretty funny. Um, kind of interesting since, um, you think they would have just given him poop and left it at that, but maybe they wanted to have some interaction. So they made it look like he was sort of kicking back some sand onto his poop, I guess. Kind of silly, kind of funny, but, but yeah, I mean, he's, for the first one I opened, he's, he's, uh, he definitely is a, a nice surprise in terms of paint detail and does have, I would say somewhat of a likeness to the Jurassic Park Triceratops. Certainly not exact, but, um, you know, closer than, Closer than you'd think. So that is the Triceratops Bike Club. Let's go ahead and do um, blue next. Big, chunky blue. Nothing different about this packaging. Appears to be basically the same. Also has uh, the figures um, that are in the wave on the back. A little image of the figure too. We'll go ahead and open this side up. Seemed like that was a pretty easy way to get these out. So just a couple tape cuts to make and then it should pop right out okay yep go ahead and same deal as before slide this inner tray out and do a couple nice cuts and then uh wow he looks even fatter <laughs> than the triceratops oh my gosh he is built solid it looks like we have a little own grady in here to get out too so definitely want to get that out um I mean, look at this guy. This guy is thick. I mean, that is, a f he almost looks like a, a frog or something. He's so fat. Um, I mean, look at that. Very wide. Uh, is he wider than, oh, I guess he's just as fat as the Triceratops. Um, I love the little wiggly tail back here too. Oh, look, their tails are poseable. Is this guy's tail poseable? Oh yeah, you can kind of move their tails around. If, if, if you so please, which is kind of nice with the, the blue because you kind of want his tail up in there. It almost feels like it wants to be in one spot based on how it lines up with everything. But like the little wrinkles around his fat legs and fat tail, that's that's a nice little sculpt detail. As far as also sculpt detail, he does have like this uh, kind of embossed scaling effect on his back. Blue's got some pretty standard paint, um, the casted gray plastic. You got the blue and white stripe like you'd expect. And then the uh, yellow and black eyes. He's also got the um, lighter underbelly plastic too. So, and then painted claws, not painted front claws, but the painted um, bottom claws. So decent amount of paint. Maybe they could have done this, these little nails, but you really don't miss it. Um, he's got all the details that make him blue, which is the, the blue stripe, right? Um, but yeah, his eyes are kind of looking the same direction, nice and glossy and big and bold. And what is he looking at? Well, I'm guessing he's looking at Owen Grady here, who's got a bucket. Um, and then a big piece of meat. He's got some basic paint on him, uh, painted, uh, looks like, actually it's plastic. He's got a casted plastic pants, casted plastic shirt, uh, or casted plastic body with a painted shirt on it, painted hair, all that stuff. But yeah, he's actually not super cartoony. He's kind of semi-realistic. He's definitely got a little bit more of a stylized proportion, but then you got, yeah, blue coming down to, uh, to eat, um, you know, it's kind of funny. It's it's it kind of flips the flips the um, proportions of uh, a human and a raptor a little bit when um, <laughs> blue's this large and Owen is that small. That's kind of fun. I mean, the dinosaurs are supposed to be the star here, I think, of Bike Club, and these little accessories they come with are meant to just sort of be, um, you know, kind of a, a silly little accessory to display them with. So blue's got Owen facing down, um, ready to eat the meat. But yeah, I love I love how <laughs> they're both the exact same uh, kind of girth. They're both the same kind of chunky, basically. So that's Triceratops. We got Blue and Owen, Triceratops and Pooh. Let's go ahead and do our 
final bike club figure, the T-Rex. And it looks like we got Donald Gennaro in there, the guy in the toilet. Um, that alone makes this worth having for me. Um, Jurassic Park, of course, and also Gennaro, you know? I mean, Mattel gave us one Gennaro figure. I would have never guessed they'd given us two, even in a kind of a strange, silly toy format like this one. Um, it's cool to see Gennaro getting some love in that Jurassic Park scene, getting some love too, right? So we'll go ahead and pop him out. Big old chonky T-Rex has to get out too. Looks like he might be... How does he put in here? Oh, he's got one big one big ba plastic band all the way around his body. So we'll go ahead and pop him out. Oh, he's still in here. Doesn't want to get out. And then we got Gennaro here in the toilet. All right. So T-Rex-wise, look at this guy. He's got big sculpted plastic teeth. So those aren't painted. That's sculpted plastic. Sculpted plastic brown body and sculpted plastic light brown body so now no paint to kind of worry about rubbing here this is all just sculpted plastic he does have some painted stripes on the back lots of fat little wrinkles on him he's got a big old neck folds big folds around the head really just um kind of emphasizes how <laughs> sort of rotund and chubby these guys are of course he has the big yellow and black eyes pointed forward painted mouth or plastic mouth rather so all kind of engineered plastic to give uh, Chonk Rex here, um, all the colors he needs. And you can see next to uh, blue or next to the Triceratops, they're every bit each other, um, every bit as you know, fat as one another, really. Um, it's kind of the same width for all of them, which is funny. I love seeing their butts like this too. Pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's obviously ready to bite something, right? What is he ready to bite? Well, none other than Donald Gennaro, the lawyer. He's got a nice little gray base, sort of like the Jungle Road. You can see some of the detail in there. There's like fallen palms from the bath, from the little bathroom stall. He also has the toilet itself, sculpted plastic toilet, kind of cockeyed, kind of fun little style there. And then he's got his shorts on and his tie and his very scared face, ah, getting ready to be eaten by the massively fat bike club t-rex um so this is probably my, one of my favorite one right here i mean if we're going to talk about what bike club called bike club at least there's some actual you know implied biting going on here with the t-rex look at his little look at his little two-handed arms look at that that's hilarious i didn't even notice that before he's got these little tiny little two-handed arms hilarious that's so funny i mean blue's arms are at least a little bit bigger but uh no, T-Rex has got these two little tiny two-fingered two, two hands. But yeah, at least this Bike Club version is actually going to be doing some biting versus sort of a, um, you know, a blue that just looks like she's curious about Owen but not necessarily going to bite her. And then, of course, the Triceratops isn't doing any kind of biting. It's just uh, burying its poop. But, um, I mean, yeah, th th these guys are a ton of fun. Um, definitely an interesting uh sort of thing to add to the collection they're not photorealistic by any means but they are official mattel and they are capturing one of my favorite you know scenes from jurassic park so could not pass up these little guys on the end ten dollars is not bad uh, again this is the first series perhaps there'll be more Perhaps there'll be like a raptor in Muldoon. I'd love to see like Carnotaurus. There's a lot of these I'd love to see if they stick to the movies, which I hope they do. They could do Gallimimus with like Tim and Lex, Brachiosaurus. I'd love to see that. I think that'd be really fun. Um, speaking of Brachiosaurus, I did want to do a couple comparisons um, with some similar figures just so you can get an idea of size. Of course, when it comes to Mattel, we all remember the Snap Squad. This is the Snap Squad T-Rex that we got all those years ago. Um back in, I think, 2019, 2018. Um, you can see here that the, the new Bike Club T-Rex is considerably bigger um, and considerably, like I said, more less paint, more solid plastic. So a little bit more, you know, um, collectible in the sense that it's kind of got that pop poppy plastic style. We also have the wild pop-up T-Rex over here, sort of the, um, the strange successor of snap squad that no one really likes i don't know why they why they went away from snap squad it's so cool um but you can see he's just a little bit bigger than snap squad and still small compared to our bike club um t-rex here so if bike club is meant to be like the final evolution or the next evolution it's definitely a little bit more substantial 
little more pricier too. But I mean, this thing's gonna be a great shelf collectible, I feel like, just because it does have such a, such a humorous presence, if you will, with its huge eyes and very large proportions. Uh, we also, I don't have any Funko Pop. I don't really collect those, but I do have these Funko vinyl figures that I really like that I think are somewhat comparable in terms of like, um, you know, sort of they're heavier, solid plastic, very similar to this stuff. Um, that actually feels a little bit heavier. Um, this guy does have that, those same sort of cartoony eyes. So they kind of, kind of go together a little bit. But again, this Brachiosaurus would have to gain about 500 pounds to be uh, to fit in with these guys, um, which makes me hope that they do a bike club Brachiosaurus at some point. I mean, they could do it with like Lex in the tree. It could be sneezing. It could be a lot of fun. I can see sort of like maybe like a sneezing effect, like the sand effect on, on Ellie would be pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, these things are such a strange surprise. They did just pop up on Amazon the other day, all three of them, and they're all really fun in my opinion. Um, especially the T-Rex with that, uh, that cowering, Do uh, Donald Gennaro. So, I mean, yeah, I'm, these aren't, probably aren't for everybody, but for me and the kind of collector I am, why not? There's only three of them. And like I said, they are inexpensive enough to just take a chance on. So that is Mattel's Bike Club. Again, we have the Triceratops, T-Rex, and Velociraptor Blue, all available right now on Amazon, about 10 bucks each. Again, I'll put the link in the caption if you're interested in grabbing them for yourself. Um, fun little cute dinosaurs, um, you know, for, like for display purposes. Going to look great on the shelf. But I think that's all I have to say about uh, Owen, Donald, a piece of poop, and some dinosaurs, right? Well, these were a lot of fun to look at. Again, I'm Tim the Collect Jurassic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.